Hey everybody, I want to do a food review of a new place I just got. Uh, I would give you the name of it, but it's not on their packaging. It's like Taqueria La Lamos or something of that nature. Let's see if I got the receipt. Let's see if it's on here. Taqueria Los Lalis. That's the restaurant. Uh, to be honest, I had a hard time seeing it on their sign, so. But. Just a piece of their cheese, sorry. I got the uh, chicken burrito. You can get black beans or refried beans. I did refried. Um, sit up here a little bit. I mean, my dad's Silverado, so there's a little more room in here than in my uh, GMC Canyon. So I've got this. Of normally large armrests that they have that Chevy has taken seating room out so they can have for their trucks uh, don't really need an armrest that big but I got one today um, which at least in this model it's a 2010 so it's not like their new ones where the the seats got extra small and the armrest got extra big I do not like the new Silverados I don't like the way the seats fit, and I don't like the way they did things, so that's just my opinion. I do work at a Chevy dealership. I just don't like how Chevy is losing what made it Chevy. They're starting to look like every other manufacturer, and they're starting to do things, and it's just, to me, I just, I miss the old Chevys. don't think they make them better than the old Chevys. All right, but let's get in here and let's see how this is. First things first. With the burrito, unlike Chipotle and other places, you get a bag of chips. And I got two containers of the salsa. Didn't pay extra for it. You have to pay extra for it at Chipotle. Yeah, actually, I think you got, yeah, you got to pay extra for it at my favorite restaurant, which is Suplex, one of my favorite restaurants, Suplex Taco. You got to pay for ex extra for it there. So that's an, a nice little extra thing that I didn't expect. Uh, their salsa looks just like an authentic Mexican restaurant. On the outside, it said authentic street tacos. I did not get tacos. I honestly, it was uh, it was kind of set up like a Chipotle, but then when I stood down at the beginning where it looked like they were going to build my meal, nobody ever came to help me. The lady at the register, I asked her if I started down there. I don't think she really spoke English that well because uh, she didn't really... I understand what I said and said C uh, which should be yes in Spanish um, so I went down there and I stood and I read the menu and I stood so I finally went back up to her I was like do I order here or do I order down there she goes ready so I, I placed an order there and I had to walk back and forth to try to where it's the first time I've been in there trying to remember what all came on them because it tells you everything it has on it I thought they would walk me through and let me pick the items I want put on my burrito, kind of like a Moe's Southwestern Grill or a Chipotle or something like that. Nope, uh, they just right there at the register. And because of that, I was trying to walk back and forth. I messed up. So I'm hoping this is really good. It should be really good. I didn't know it had guacamole on it. And I see him go bloop. And I'm like, ah. I hate guacamole. I do not like green slime. I do not like green paste. I do not like flavorless fat. So I am not a guacamole fan. Just not for me. It's nasty. So hopefully there's enough on this burrito that I don't hardly notice it. Hopefully I can tell a difference between the two. But uh, let's try their salsa. The first thing I notice about their salsa is it is very watery i like a little more chunk to my salsa but a lot of mexican restaurants are like that so what i usually do is i just order some pico and i put the pico and just stir it into the salsa and that gives me the the chunk i like so watery i can't tip it up much That's your salsa. Mm. 
It tastes a lot like we have a lot of Mexican restaurants around here because they're very popular. My Ducks logo is crooked. It's a little better. All right, sorry, my OCD kicked in. All right, we'll deal with it. But um, we got a Casa Grande. Amazing food, amazing dessert, great customer service. Little bit on the more pricier side but there's quality in their food. That's in South Point, Ohio, and New Boston, Ohio. And they're part of a family of restaurants with an El Colonial restaurant, which is also another Mexican restaurant. It's another brother of the Casa Grande that lives in Russell, Kentucky. They're okay. They're not as good as at Casa Grande, in my opinion, but the food at those places are amazing. The salsa is eh. That it's like, I don't know if it's paprika or what it is. They're just something that's way too strong in theirs. And then we got Toro Loco, which is in Ironton, Willersburg, Portsmouth. I think they even have one over here in Kentucky somewhere. Best salsa. By far, best salsa. And then we have a Trace Hermanos Nunes. Really good salsa. Uh, it's not Toro Loco, but it's 10 times better than Casa Grande salsa. Their food is good. And uh, I would put Trace Romanes Nunes food in between Casa Grande and Toro Loco. Which I love Toro Loco's grilled chicken salad and special Ricardo. But their chicken burritos leave something to be desired, in my opinion. Um, Casa Grande has pretty good chicken burritos. They got really good chimichangas. But they're, I like their Hawaiian fajitas, is my favorite thing at Casa Grande. And then uh, you've got the Tres Hermanos. They they do buff Mexican buffet. So you get to try everything, which you kind of get to build what you want to eat. Uh, the buffet is not very prevalent right now because of the pandemic. So they, I, I do love them. And I did get their Hawaiian fajita. It was, it was almost as good as Casa Grande. And some of their food I've had is really good. Then there's another one that's on its own underneath the Ashland Bridge called La Finca. Their salsa is weird because they, they serve at room temperature, it's not cold, and I'm not a fan of room temperature salsa that, uh, from a Mexican restaurant like that because it just, I'm afraid it's not, the tomatoes are going to turn or something like that. So I'm not a fan of unrefrigerated salsa whenever it comes to a restaurant, but um, Plus, I worked at Chili's for almost a decade, and I know that you have to refrigerate that stuff. So, but this salsa tastes exactly like Tres Hermanos Nunes, which is all over the area. So, let's get to the burrito. It was $7.99. There's the burrito. So I have got utensils here if I need them, and I they even give a tray, so that's awesome. So let's just try a bite first. Mango Pico de Gallo. Chicken's got a pretty good flavor. I don't like it as good as Suplex Taco. I matched up with that guacamole tasted it right off the bat because they put very little cheese like it was it was meant that I've gotten more cheese on a street taco than I got on this whole burrito so we're going to try a little salsa on it Hmm. 
No napkins. I'll take that back. I got one napkin, the one I got in my silverware. Mm. Mm, it's, it's, the chicken's cooked good. The guacamole's nasty. But all guacamole's nasty to me. The rice is cooked good. There goes your refried beans. They're good and smooth. I mean, $8 is a good price. It's $7.99. After tax, I'd probably like $8.60 or something like that. I mean, if I'm over here, I, I might get it. Again. It's not great. I um, definitely would not put it above Suplex Taco. It might be better than Moe's. But sometimes you get good Moe's, sometimes you don't get good Moe's. Moe's ain't stingy with the cheese, so. Hmm. I'm glad I tried it. Uh, review. We're doing five stars. 2.53. Uh, very, very edible. Uh, it's one of my least favorite burritos I can get in the area. Better than Taco Bell burrito. But let's face it, Taco Bell is a totally different class of food, so. But there's my review. There's the burrito. There's a the thumbnail. So if you want to, if you've seen my page here on YouTube, my channel, whatever they call it, it's not monetized. I don't have enough subscribers yet. Well, just fine. I'm doing it for me. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to bell notification um, I mark it as not for kids so that you can hit the bell notification for some reason if you mark it as for kids they take that bell notification off so I don't know why that is but I've noticed that happens so it's the only reason I mark it for kids um, because I don't cuss I don't drink I don't do none of that stuff Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior I do have Bible readings on here <coughs> sorry a piece of rice just went down my windpipe <coughs> anyway, I felt it go down and then it come. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, do toy hunts, food reviews. I review indie wrestling shows. Do little snippets from them. I don't want to show their products. I want them to be able to have their product. But we're going to get in, ready to run in here to Walmart. Do a toy, toy hunt. Get a couple things we need. And then I will see you all on the next one. God bless you all. Have a great day. I'll see you soon.